This video is about the muscles of the lower limb. We're going to start off with this muscle here, which is called the tensor fasciae latae, and it originates just laterally to the anterior superior iliac spine, and it inserts on the iliotibial tract. This muscle is the longest muscle in the body. It's called the sartorius, and it's also called the tailor's muscle. It originates on the anterior superior iliac spine, and it inserts on the proximal tibia. Now we're going to take a look at the muscles that make up the anterior compartment of the thigh. Collectively, these muscles are called the quadriceps. We'll look at this one first. This is the rectus femoris. This muscle originates on the anterior inferior iliac spine, and it inserts with all the other quadriceps via the patella tendon to the tibial tuberosity via the patella ligament. If we remove the rectus femoris, we come to the other three of the quadriceps, and these are huge or vast muscles. We have the vastus medialis, the vastus lateralis, and then between the two of those, we have the vastus intermedius. If we take a medial view, we can see the muscles that make up the medial compartment of the thigh. The most medial is this slender or graceful muscle, which is called the gracilis. All of these muscles on the medial compartment originate from the pubic bone. The gracilis inserts along with the sartorius on the proximal tibia. Then we have our adductor muscles, this muscle here is the adductor magnus, and this inserts on the posterior femur at the linear aspera and also on the adductor tubercle on the medial epicondyle. And then we have this muscle, which inserts halfway down the femur on the linear aspera. This is the adductor longus. Then above and deep to the adductor longus, we have the adductor brevis. Turning the leg over to get a look at the posterior compartment. First of all, we'll look at our gluteal muscles. This muscle here is the gluteus maximus, and this is the largest muscle. Deep to that, we have the gluteus medius, and then we can also see the piriformis. posterior compartment of the thigh comprises of the hamstring muscles and there are three muscles here. We have the bicep femoris, which is the only one that goes lateral. We have the semitendinosis, which has a long tendon that also inserts on the proximal tibia along with the gracilis and the sartorius. And then deep to the semitendinosis, we have the semimembranosis. Now we can move on to the leg. This bone here is the tibia, and we have the anterior crest right here. Right next to that, we have the tibialis anterior. Next to the tibialis anterior, we have the extensor digitorum longus. Then on the lateral compartment of the leg, we have this muscle, which is called the fibularis longus. 
And this muscle has a long tendon that goes posterior to the lateral malleolus, and it goes under the foot. And then we get to the posterior leg. So collectively, the posterior leg is called the triceps surrey. We have the gastrocnemius that has two heads. And deep to the gastrocnemius, we have a muscle that lo looks like a flatfish, the soleus. Both of these muscles merge to form a common tendon. This is the calcaneal tendon, also commonly called the Achilles tendon, and the insert on the calcaneal bone. So this model illustrates a couple of muscles that we weren't able to see on our other models. So we have the spine here. We have the pubic bones, or the pubic symphysis here. And this is the crest of the iliac. The muscle that we're interested in are these muscles here. So this muscle is the, called the psoas major. And this muscle is the iliacus. They both merge to form the iliopsoas.